A waitress diligently serves a grumpy elderly man with a penchant for wearing black for several years. However, her routine takes an unexpected turn when he mysteriously disappears, leaving her bewildered. The shock deepens when she receives an unexpected phone call. In a charming small-town diner, Emma, a young and dedicated waitress, skillfully manages her college education alongside her demanding job. Renowned for her amiable and compassionate nature, she shines as a beacon of warmth in the lively environment of the diner. Amidst her regular patrons, one individual captures the essence of mystery and intrigue, Mr. Jenkins, an elderly black man. As much a fixture in the diner as the aged jukebox in the corner, Mr. Jenkins exudes a distinct gruffness, with a demeanor seemingly impenetrable to most. His presence stands in stark contrast to the lively atmosphere of the diner. Despite his brief and succinct interactions, Emma finds a rhythm in serving him. She approaches Mr. Jenkins with unwavering respect and patience, even in the face of his often sour disposition. In this world where he appears out of place, Emma establishes a peculiar yet stable routine with Mr. Jenkins. Each day, as the diner bell chimes with the entrance of customers, Emma looks out for him. With the predictability of clockwork, Mr. Jenkins settles at his usual spot, and a silent understanding unfolds. When Emma approaches, there's a subtle exchange, an unspoken connection that has developed over time. Greeting him with a cheerful smile, Emma attempts to chip away at his stern exterior with her friendly demeanor. Mr. Jenkins, a man of few words, responds to her efforts with monosyllabic replies, his language consisting mostly of grunts and nods. Yet amidst these brief exchanges, Emma perceives a hint of something deeper, perhaps a flicker of amusement in Mr. Jenkins' eyes or a barely noticeable softening of his features. These fleeting moments are treasures for Emma, as she senses a rich, untold story behind Mr. Jenkins' stoic facade, as intriguing as it is elusive. Their daily encounters, seemingly brief and uneventful, slowly weave a tapestry of silent understanding and mutual respect. In a world full of transient relationships and fleeting interactions, the bond forming between Emma and Mr. Jenkins becomes a testament to the power of persistence, kindness, and the subtle art of recognizing the unspoken needs of another. Emma's consistent kindness towards Mr. Jenkins not only showcases her compassionate nature but also transforms their routine encounters into moments of quiet significance. Then, one ordinary morning, the rhythmic pattern of life at the diner takes an unexpected turn. The door chimes, customers come and go, but there is a noticeable absence. Mr. Jenkins, whose presence had become a reliable constant, does not show up. His usual corner, often marked by his stoic demeanor and quiet meals, stands conspicuously empty. Emma, with her keen and observant nature, is the first to sense the void left by his absence. Initially, she considers the possibility of a harmless change in Mr. Jenkins' routine. However, as the day stretches into evening and then into the next, with no sign of Mr. Jenkins, a seed of worry begins to take root in Emma's mind. This concern only deepens as more days pass, each devoid of Mr. Jenkins' presence. His strict routine, so unvarying that it could almost be time to the minute, had been abruptly broken without any hint or trace. Compelled to act, Emma starts by questioning her colleagues at the diner, but they offer little more than shrugs and indifferent guesses. Although Mr. Jenkins was a regular, he had always been a figure shrouded in solitude, interacting minimally with anyone other than Emma. Determined to find answers, Emma extends her search beyond the diner, inquiring at nearby shops, with local residents, and even at the post office, anywhere that might hold a clue to his whereabouts. Yet, each attempt to unearth information about the elusive Mr. Jenkins meets a dead end. It seems as if he exists only within the confines of the diner and in Emma's encounters with him. The community's lack of knowledge about Mr. Jenkins only adds to the mystery surrounding him. Emma is struck by the realization of how little she actually knows about this man who had been a part of her daily life for so long. His absence leaves a trail of unanswered questions and a growing concern for his well-being. The void left by Mr. Jenkins is not just a missing figure in a booth, but a gap in the fabric of the diner's atmosphere, a silent echo that resonates with Emma each day. 
Her growing unease is a reflection of the bond that had unknowingly developed, a connection built on routine and silent exchanges, now felt deeply in his unexplained absence. In the midst of a typical day, Emma's routine is abruptly interrupted by an unexpected phone call. The voice on the other end, formal and unfamiliar, bears heavy news, a lawyer representing the recently deceased Mr. Jenkins informs Emma of his passing. This revelation hits Emma with a blend of sorrow and shock. The enigmatic regular, a constant in her daily life, had quietly departed from the world, leaving a noticeable void. But the call brings another surprise, adding to the enigma of Mr. Jenkins. Emma, the young waitress who had consistently served him with kindness, is named in his last will and testament. This news sends waves of confusion through her. Why would this solitary man, who barely exchanged more than a few words with her each day, include her in such a significant and personal document? Invited to the will reading at a law office, Emma is consumed by curiosity and a touch of nervousness. Her mind is abuzz with questions. What could her connection to Mr. Jenkins possibly be? Had he noticed her acts of kindness more profoundly than she had realized? Was there an aspect of his life, unknown to her, that somehow involved her? As the day of the will reading draws near, Emma finds herself reflecting on her interactions with Mr. Jenkins. Each memory, once deemed trivial or routine, now seems imbued with potential meaning. She wonders if Mr. Jenkins, in his quiet observations, saw something in her that resonated with his own life experiences. The thought that she might have had a significant impact on this solitary man fills her with a mixture of humility and awe. The anticipation of the will reading stirs a complex blend of emotions in Emma. She feels a respectful sadness for the loss of a person who, in many ways, remained a stranger to her. Yet amidst this swirl of emotions, there's also an undeniable intrigue about the legacy Mr. Jenkins left behind and how Emma fits into it. This unforeseen circumstance, a testament to the subtle connections formed in everyday life, leaves Emma pondering the unseen threads that tie people together. Her journey to the law office is not just a physical one, but also a voyage into the unknown aspects of Mr. Jenkins' life, and perhaps a deeper understanding of her own impact on those around her. In the solemn atmosphere of the law office, Emma sits, a mix of nerves and anticipation churning within her. As Mr. Jenkins' will is read, a surprising portrait of the man she thought she knew begins to emerge. He was not just the silent patron of the diner, he was a wealthy widower, bereft of family, living alone amidst his accumulated wealth. This revelation paints a poignant picture, starkly contrasting with the humble, almost invisible presence he maintained at the diner. The lawyer then hands Emma a sealed envelope, her name written in careful script. Inside, she finds a substantial sum of money bequeathed to her, an act so generous it leaves her breathless. But it's the letter accompanying the bequest that truly captures her heart. Mr. Jenkins' words, imbued with a warmth she had never witnessed in person, weave a narrative of gratitude and solitude. In the letter, Mr. Jenkins deeply appreciates Emma's kind gestures. He talks about the profound loneliness he experienced following his family's loss, a feeling of isolation that persisted except for the brief moments he spent at the diner. Emma's consistent kindness and gentle smiles were like beams of light in his otherwise dull world. He writes about noticing her hard work and commitment, qualities that brought back memories of a better time in his life. Mr. Jenkins also comments on Emma's ambitions, noting her effort to juggle work in college, along with her dreams that seemed just out of her grasp. His words reflect a sincere understanding of her challenges and a genuine wish to support her in achieving her ambitions. Mr. Jenkins explains that the money he has given is his way of supporting her journey towards her dreams. It's a gesture meant to repay the kindness she showed him in a manner that would truly make a difference in her life. Emma is deeply moved to tears by the letter. The man she knew only from brief daily interactions had truly seen her, and he chose to profoundly impact her life. The realization that her simple acts of kindness had so deeply touched someone is both humbling and inspiring to her. She understands that Mr. Jenkins's legacy lies not just in the money he left her, 
but also in the reminder that even the smallest acts of kindness can have far-reaching effects, often beyond what one might expect. His final wish for her to chase her dreams becomes a guiding light for Emma's future, a path now brightened by the unexpected generosity of a solitary man who had quietly observed and appreciated the true nature of her spirit. Overwhelmed by Mr. Jenkins's generosity, Emma finds herself at a transformative juncture in her life. The significant amount of money he left her ignites a profound sense of responsibility and gratitude within her. After much contemplation, Emma decides to honor Mr. Jenkins's memory in a way that mirrors the kindness he acknowledged in her. Firstly, she resolves to use a portion of the money to further her education, a dream that had often seemed unattainable due to financial constraints. This decision is not just a step towards personal advancement but also a tribute to Mr. Jenkins's belief in her potential. The opportunity to delve deeper into her studies without the looming stress of financial hardship opens a new chapter of possibilities in her life. Beyond her personal goals, Emma is moved to extend the ripple effect of Mr. Jenkins's kindness into the wider community. Inspired by the profound loneliness he had experienced, she begins volunteering at a local senior center. Here, she dedicates her time and compassion to the elderly, many of whom, like Mr. Jenkins, are navigating the twilight of their lives in solitude. Through activities, conversations, and simple companionship, Emma seeks to bring warmth and connection to their days. Emma's efforts at the center become a heartfelt homage to Mr. Jenkins, turning his legacy into actions that touch the lives of many. Furthermore, Emma channels part of her inheritance into creating a scholarship fund, naming it in honor of Mr. Jenkins. This fund is specifically designed to assist students who, like her, face financial barriers to their education. The scholarship aims to provide not just monetary support but also to serve as a beacon of hope, encouraging students to pursue their aspirations regardless of their economic background. In establishing the scholarship, Emma ensures that Mr. Jenkins's legacy extends far beyond their personal connection. It becomes a perpetual source of support, empowering young minds to reach for their dreams. The scholarship fund stands as a testament to the impact one individual can have, echoing Mr. Jenkins's belief in the power of kindness and the importance of giving back. Through these actions, Emma transforms her gratitude and respect for Mr. Jenkins into a living legacy. His final gift becomes a catalyst for change and benevolence, reflecting the profound connection they shared and the enduring impact of his kindness on her life and in the community. Emma's journey with the legacy of Mr. Jenkins is a poignant reminder of how generosity and compassion can transcend time, continuing to resonate through the lives of others. On her graduation day, Emma stands amidst a sea of caps and gowns, her heart brimming with an array of emotions. This pivotal milestone is tinted with the memory of Mr. Jenkins, the man whose unexpected generosity paved the way for this triumphant day. As she reflects on her journey, Emma realizes how profoundly Mr. Jenkins's act of kindness has reshaped her path. His belief in her, encapsulated in the legacy he left behind, not only eased her financial burdens but also instilled in her a deep sense of purpose and gratitude. Emma's thoughts drift to the scholarship fund she established in Mr. Jenkins's name. It stands as a beacon of hope and opportunity for students grappling with financial struggles, just as she once did. The fund is a lasting tribute to Mr. Jenkins, embodying the spirit of generosity and support he extended to her. It is a testament to the enduring impact of his kindness, a legacy that continues to grow and touch lives beyond his own. With her newfound confidence and the life lessons gleaned from her experiences, Emma ventures into the realm of public speaking. She becomes an advocate for kindness, compassion, and community support, drawing on her personal story to inspire and engage others. Her speeches resonate with the power of empathy and the importance of helping those in need. She shares the narrative of Mr. Jenkins, emphasizing how one person's act of benevolence can ripple outwards, creating waves of positive change. As Emma's voice gains recognition, she decides to organize a community event in honor of Mr. Jenkins. This event, envisioned as a celebration of his life and the values he stood for, aims to bring the community together in a shared spirit of camaraderie and giving. 
The plans for the event include activities that encourage community bonding, acts of kindness, and initiatives that support local causes. Emma envisions this event not just as a tribute to Mr. Jenkins but as a platform to foster a sense of unity and collective responsibility within the community. The story culminates with Emma meticulously planning this event, her heart filled with a mix of excitement and reverence. In every decision she makes, she carries the essence of Mr. Jenkins' spirit, ensuring that his legacy of kindness is woven into the fabric of the community. Through her actions and dedication, Emma honors the memory of Mr. Jenkins, cementing his legacy as a catalyst for positive change and a symbol of the profound impact one individual can have on the lives of many.